Matt Dorigo. I'm the founder and executive director of Arts. I first came up with the concept for Arts when I was 18, same age as me, the kids we serve now. And my mother and my sister were both diagnosed with cancer within a few months of each other. One day in particular, towards the end of my mother's illness, uh, we had her at ho on hospice. And I remember leaving her bedside and going upstairs and closing the door and putting the music on and, and painting. My whole state of being had been transformed. I went up there really depressed and angry and just confused and I found myself really in, in a great mood and really positive energy, like everything was gonna be okay. And it hit me just then that if it worked for me, I knew it would work for other people, particularly kids. I think all kids are natural artists, performers, musicians. So I actually sat down and did a little business plan. I said, okay, I'm gonna create this nonprofit organization, raise all the money myself, it'll be free for all the kids, create this great art center where the kids can come and learn music, art, and writing, anything, visual performing literary arts. And so I sat down, I was thinking about what would I name this organization? And I wrote down, I started writing down all these phrases, what the arts meant to me and how they made me feel. And one of the phrases I wrote down was a reason to survive. It gave me a reason to survive what I was going through. And as I sat and looked at it, the acronym ARTS jumped out. And for me, that was like a sign. Like, this is my purpose in life. This is what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to bring free art programs to kids of the world through the organization called A Reason to Survive. And it was very lofty, the kids of the world, but I think eventually we'll get there someday. I'm very excited to share with you all the wonderful things that we're doing with our students here at the Arts Center and in the community. Here at our Arts Center in Point Loma, we are working with students in the Danny Riley Music Program, where we offer private guitar and private piano lessons, group songwriting classes, drum circles, and we're looking to start our first arts band. In our creative zone, we're working with many mediums in the visual arts, including ceramics, mosaics, and watercolor. In our media arts lab, students are working on creating their own documentaries, experimenting with photography and Photoshop, and even learning the basics of graphic design. Our Van Gogh transportation program enables us to bring students to and from the Arts Center and to various arts and cultural events in the community. We continue to do outreach programs to some of our original partner sites, including Ronald McDonald House and Children's Hospital. It's amazing to see the sense of pride and ownership that these students feel when they bring their parents to show how they're beautifying their neighborhoods. The gallery is one vehicle our young artists might choose to solidify a future in the art industry. I'd like to welcome you all down to the Art Center to see our programs in action. My name is Julia. I'm a junior in high school and um, I found arts and came into contact with arts through an internship program um, at my school. I come here two days a week for um, a couple of hours and do all sorts of things. As time progressed, I started working on pieces and working with kids and it's been about two years now and over that massive two years, I've sold a number of pieces in, in the arts show and along with that, um, I've come into contact with people who have helped me um, put together my very own solo art exhibition. Which it's very exciting, something um, I'm very looking forward to. Through arts, I've just gained a ton of exposure and a ton of great connections that I will carry on throughout life. And um, as far as college goes, I definitely plan to attend a four-year university and I'll be the first in my family to do so. And um, arts has definitely helped me along that journey. Hi, we at Arts, we love to do uh, community art projects with some of our partners and uh, this is Ross Elementary School which is one of our partner sites and we came up here with uh, sixth graders from High Tech Middle School and collaborated with the third graders here at Ross to do, do these mosaic murals as part of a service learning project. We also collaborated with students from USD, members of the art department there and we brought them up here and we did these two beautiful painted murals with the kids here at Ross. One of the best parts of what we do at Arts, you know, we'll go into one of these schools that's a Title I school and, you know, it's kind of neglected. This school is very gray and drab. And by coming in here, we just brighten up the environment to make a better place for these kids to come and learn. They begin to feel an ownership of their school and begin to feel pride about their school. And because of that, they just have a, 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 a more of a love and a connection to their school. It's become more of a home to them than it is just a facility. I really enjoy going to the hospital 
My favorite part is to do bedside visits where I go from room to room and do art activities with the kids. Uh, one day I walked into a 16 year old uh, girl's room and she was very excited to do the activity I had brought. We started talking and she told me that when she wanted to go to college she wanted to be an artist. I told her and her mother about arts and how she could come here um, free of charge and take art classes. And they were very, very excited. The mom said to me that that horrible hospital visit had been worth it just because she had learned about um, this great organization. The kids that I work with now are in a teen recovery center. And I teach them uh, various things, drawing, painting, graphic design. The thing I like most about working with these kids is that uh, it keeps me on my toes creatively. I think as a what you would call a traditionally trained artist. You learn a specific set of rules and you learn to break a specific set of rules within a certain structure. And being in an environment like this, you're working with kids who really don't have those rules or those structures, but simply come here for the creative expression. And it kind of keeps me on my toes and forces me to sort of rethink what I think of as creative expression. And that's fun to me. I'm bound to thank you for it. While we're so grateful for all the support we've gotten to bring us to where we are today, we need to continue to grow our programs and expand our mission. There's such a need out there. So we invite you to come down to the Art Center, see our programs in action, meet our kids, see how we're healing, inspiring, and empowering them. Get involved as a volunteer, as a donor, in your own special way, and make arts part of your life. And together, we can change these kids' lives.